Reavers, it's feeding time. Reapers, welcome back for another episode. We're gonna be feeding coral, fish, and my anemone today. I figured I'd document everything so you guys can see what my schedule looks like and what I do to feed my fish. So before we jump into it, please hit that subscribe button. Appreciate it, let's do it. Cool, so um, getting ready to feed my fish right now. I like to feed them frozen cubes of different types of food. I usually kind of switch it up every single day. Usually feed them frozen mysis. Fish eggs, we'll use berlina as well just to kind of throw them off and keep them on their toes. Sometimes I'll give them like back to back the same food so they don't know what's coming. And then other days I'll just drop some dry food in there. Uh, what I usually do is take some tank water, dip it in my cup, like so. And then I put the frozen cube in the net in there. I'm sure a lot of your reefers already do this out there. Um, I usually do this because I don't know what's in that water. It could be like contaminated with stuff that I don't want in my tank. I don't want to introduce anything new in there. So uh, this is how I kind of avoid that. We're just gonna let that thaw and then we'll go ahead and feed them and then we'll switch over to feeding the corals a little bit more in depth, if you will. It's like watching paint dry, my friends. Oh, a little better view for you right there. Uh, yeah, so we're ready to, to drop this crap in there. Look at this guy, he's about to get in the net, he doesn't care, he just wants food. Boom. I always like to watch and make sure that everybody gets food too, because I have some fish in there that are a little bit more fat than others. Oh yeah, we're gonna feed some coral now. Uh, this stuff right here, guys, I can't hype enough. Reefroids is by far one of the best products I've used by Polyp Lab. My coral go ham over the stuff. Boom, so these are my feeding tools, obviously. Whoops, boom, Reefroids. I uh, got my cup, and then I use this guy. This is my weapon right here for spot feeding. A little turkey baster. Make you think differently about Thanksgiving. This, what I usually do is I mix the uh, reefroids with uh, just some tank water. Awesome. Here's what the reefroids look like. Can you guys see that? I guess the gnarlier the better is the rule. Guys, I don't measure this. I just like freestyle. Uh, almost forgot to turn off the system, so let's do that. Yeah, let's give it like some stirring. Fill it up in the... Look at that. I'm sorry, this weird stance. Coral doesn't naturally just have its feeders out all the time. So what I usually do is I'll pump a little bit in there to get them like excited and then you'll see some like stringy stuff come out and then we'll start pumping more food in there. So let's do that. All that stringy stuff you're seeing, those, those are the feeders that he's, he's going to grab stuff with. Go ahead and uh, take care of some of these zoas. Awesome, so we got everything fed using the reefroids. Uh, they absolutely love that stuff. Again, what I usually do is I'll drop some reefroids in there first, get them kind of warmed up, ready to eat, and then I'll start target feeding them. I cannot hype it enough. I'll leave a link down below so you guys can order some as well. Uh, and again, I feed my corals about uh, once every week. Uh, you can feed more than that, but that's just kind of the schedule that I stick to. Let's, uh, let's get this anemone fed. This is probably one of my coolest things to see. Uh, we're gonna feed him some silver sides and watch him just kind of eat it up and watch the clownfish get super pissed about it. Let's get it. What you're gonna need for this is, I usually use these long like feeder tweezer things. Another cup, obviously, and then some silver sides. That, my friends, is a silver side. It is gnarly, it's frozen right now. What I usually do is um, I'll dip this into some tank water, because the tank water's a little bit warm, and it'll thaw out for a little bit, and then I'll just put it right into his mouth, so. Oh man, check that out, that is sick view right there. Watch how pissed these guys get. Oh my god. And just kind of let the anemone grab it. He knows, and he'll grab my tool too, so I gotta let off slowly. There he goes. Hope you guys found that super helpful. Um, it was pretty cool to see the uh, the anemone take that stuff. I usually feed my fish once a day, my coral once a week, and then my anemone like once a week as well, just to keep them happy. Um, hope you guys enjoyed that. If you guys don't mind, please hit that subscribe button for me, and maybe throw me a like as well. It goes a long way. Any questions, comments, or concerns, leave them down below. And don't forget to visit me on Instagram at Tank Bro. Um, until next time, happy reefing. Peace.